everyone welcome back to the channel of ecoholics so in today's video we are going to do one numerical for checking the quasi convexity i have already done two videos on the concept of quasi convexity if you wish to see that videos please go to the link in the description box below all right so the function given to us is x square y square where x is strictly positive and y is strictly negative and we have to check for quasi convexity so in the concept videos I have already taught you two methods. One is graphical, and the another one is mathematical method. So, using the mathematical method, I'm going to proceed for this. So, let me first formulate the bordered Hessian matrix for this function over here. So, I'm going to put zero. What is going to be f dash one? It's going to be two x y square. F dash two would be equal to two y x square. Right now, the same numbers over here. Now f double dash one one would be two y square. F double dash two two would be two x square. Now f double dash one two is going to be four x y. Similarly, f double dash two one is going to be four x y. So this is it. Now let me check the d one determinant. So d one determinant would be zero two x y square. 2xy square and 2y square. So what is going to be the value? This and this are going to become zero minus 4x square y raised to power four power. Now since x we have even powers x square and y raised to power four, they would be positive. But I have a minus four, so this is going to make them strictly negative. After that, let's come to d2. So d2 may I'm going to take these two, uh, these two rows and these two columns. So I will be having 2xy square, 2y square. After that, I have 2y x square and 4xy. Now when I solve for it, I will be getting 2 into 4 8 x square y cube minus 2 into 2 4 x square and again y cube. So upon solving, I would get 4x square y cube. Now, since x is positive, so x square would be positive, but y is a strictly negative number. So y cube will also be negative. Now this part is going to be positive, whereas this part is going to be negative. So the product of positive and negative would become ultimately negative. So it means d1 is negative. Now I write it here d1 is negative. Similarly, d2 is negative. So it means all the determinants are negative. No even odd well, a scheme is going to fall over here. So because of this reason, this function is quasi-convex. So this was the solution to this numerical problem of quasi-convexity. If you want more such videos, please let us know in the comment section below. If you found this video useful, please like it, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel. Thank you everyone for watching.